Today we're gonna count down the top five best pet tarantulas for kids. So stick around. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. Now this list will be a little bit different than my top 10 beginner tarantula list, because I'm focusing on species that would make a great first tarantula for children. So I'm looking at ease of care, temperament, handling, all you know, all the things that children would like to do with a pet tarantula, but also something that's gonna be interesting and beautiful and capture their attention and fascination. And starting off with number five is the Avicularia avicularia. Spiderlings of this species may not be ideal, but luckily you can find subadults and adults pretty easily, and they're not very expensive. With its cute pink toes, furry appearance, and blue and black coloration. Not to mention its very docile nature and the fact they usually like to climb around their enclosure a whole lot. I think this would make a great species for any kid wanting to get their first tarantula. Now number four is the Brachypelma errata, which might be a controversial pick, but just hear me out. This is a new world terrestrial tarantula that's got some very beautiful coloration and pattern. They're fairly active, they like to stay out on display a whole lot, but they have been known to be kind of quick to kick those urticating hairs. But the reason they made my list isn't just because of their appearance and temperament as adults. But even as spiderlings, they kind of have that same pattern in our adult coloration. So if you have to get a spiderling for your kid, I think this would make a very good species. They'll be able to enjoy or at least get an idea of what they'll look like as an adult, even though they're very young. And they're a long-lived tarantula. So your child could have this species for decades and it'll grow up right along with your kid. And by the time it's old enough to wear those urticating hairs could really be irritating and cause a problem, your child child's going to have a lot of experience taking care of this animal as a pet and be well aware of the urticating hairs and how to avoid them. Now number three is one of the most popular tarantulas in the hobby and that is the Gramistola pokra. These are often described as the black labs of tarantulas. They're very calm, very docile, rarely kick hairs. And if they do kick hairs, Gramistola species are known to have the least irritating, urticating hairs to humans. Though they may not be as colorful as other species of tarantula, that solid velvety black appearance is simply gorgeous. I wish when I was a kid that I had a Brazilian black tarantula. Now number two is one of the most docile species in the hobby, and that is the Afonopelma calcodes. The Arizona Blonde is a very common tarantula in the hobby. Similar to the Gramistola pulchra, this species typically has a solid blonde or tan appearance. Thank you. 
Garrett from Reach Out Reptile's daughter actually referred to it as a kiwi. So what are you gonna name her? Kiwi. Kiwi, that's perfect. I like that name. Which now I can't unsee anytime I look at this species. They're adorable, they're easy to take care of, they're very docile, and they will tolerate being handled. So between the low cost, the hardiness, and the ease of care, I think this is an amazing tarantula for a child. And finally, the number one best pet tarantula for a kid has got to be the Gramistola poker piece. This tarantula shares a lot of the same characteristics of the Brazilian black tarantula. It's hardy, it's docile, it's easy to take care of, has a very impressive feeding response, doesn't seem to mind being handled much at all. In fact, a lot of times it'll walk right out of its enclosure onto my hand. My poker bees have never kicked hairs at me, never really given me a threat pose, and just look really cool with those gold bands and stripes on their legs. So if you're looking for a tarantula that a kid would easily be able to take care of, that's gonna be out and moving around a lot to capture that child's fascination and attention, and most importantly, is gonna be a safe choice for both the tarantula and the child. I can't think of any species better than the Chaco Goldeny Tarantula. Now, if you have a suggestion for the best pet tarantula for a child that didn't make my list today, be sure to tell us all about it down below in the comments. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>